guess who's off to London again? <laughs> I'm all flustered right now. I've just bumped into Marty's money saving. So that was very, very strange. So I've just arrived at the Good Housekeeping Institute and I came here by four. I really didn't fancy going on the underground. And I'm here to learn how to cook Norwegian Fjord trout. That was a mouthful by a Michelin star chef, Daniel Galmish. So I'll let you know how it goes. And I've just found some friends. I've got Jenny. Hi, uh, it's Jenny from Midwife and Life. And <laughs> I'll get used to names. <laughs> they have really pure, cold, clean water. It is absolutely stunning, the environment where they live. You'll probably know from the Norwegians that any farmed products that they have are absolutely second to none. They're found with the utmost care. But you could probably liken it to a sea trout, essentially. Um, it's going to be available from uh, Tesco fish counters come October. Daniel is going to take you through the product itself because, again, the, we don't want to talk to you about it. We want you to see and watch and learn. But essentially what we're going to be doing today is showing you a bit of a comparison between fjord trout and salmon because you know it's another red fish so why would you choose fjord trout why would you choose salmon it's very different to salmon as well um, it's very lean it doesn't have much fat in its meat it means two things first of all it's very delicate in its flavor so it's kind of quite nutty it's quite delicate but it's not at all fishy because of that we think it's actually quite an interesting fish to be giving children so for families that are kind of trying to get the oily fish into the diet of their kids, sometimes it's quite difficult with some, with a fish like salmon, for instance, or mackerel or other oily fish, they're quite strong and pungent, but you get just as much goodness out of your fuel trout. So that's one reason. And the second reason, with it storing most of its fat in the belly, you actually have a really firm, lean flesh of the meat structure. So that means that it is actually very low in fat as well. And on the skin a bit, and you, and you cook on a on a greaseproof proof paper, and that way your fish will not stick to the pan. It's always a small uh, a small tip. So a lot of chefs use it, and when a fish is very fresh, you see the fish just become like that. So what we do, we put another greaseproof proof paper with a weight on the top, and and your fish cut color everywhere. Then we put some salt. You know, and, and you just serve it on top of the office, all the flavour is there. I've just been stuffing my face, you know how it is.